Jay has more now on uh, some milder temperatures and also a little bit of fog in our forecast for Friday. Yeah, as expected, the fog is getting a little thicker out there, seeing the visibilities drop a little bit. Let's take a look at the live city camp picture. Can't see a whole bunch. We are pointed toward the Iway Bridge looking south from downtown province. You can kind of make it out in there, but also we've got some raindrops on the lens. Indication we've got some uh, precipitation, just some drizzle working its way across southern New England right now. Providence visibility about a mile, 1.3 mile visibility in Newport, little under two miles in Westerly, mile and a half in Pawtucket, Worcester. Zero mile visibility right now. Temperatures are in the 30s across the area. 34 on Coventry, 35 Newport, Fall River at 36. Notice up here in the northwestern part of the state, we've got a temperature of 33 degrees being reported in uh, West Gloucester. And uh, some areas have been hovering around the freezing mark up here this morning. This is where there could potentially be some freezing drizzle or mist. Even over here into northeastern Connecticut, southern Worcester County, there could be some freezing drizzle or mist. So use a little extra caution traveling through there. Everybody should this morning because we do have some areas of fog and you can see there's not much in the way of actual shower activity, just uh, the uh, lower level drizzle. We've got some rain showers working their way off of Plymouth, headed toward most of Cape Cod right now. We're not going to be seeing a lot in the way of showers today, but every once in a while, a couple of showers could certainly pop up. The real heart of the heavier rain is off across New York and Pennsylvania. What we're going to be seeing is number one, a warm front come on through during the latter part of the afternoon. Then we'll see a cold front come on through during the uh, early part of the evening. Let's see how it plays out in terms of temperatures. Nine o'clock this morning, mid to upper 30s and only slowly rising through the morning hours. We're not looking at a big jump in temperatures this morning or early afternoon. 38 degrees or so at 1230 mid afternoon. Notice we're still in the 30s and even lower 40s along the uh, south coast, but Block Island will have jumped to 47. Notice during the early afternoon, the warm front begins to lift northward up to 52 degrees in Warwick, 41 in Providence. So the warm front right between Providence and Warwick at around 530. Everywhere warms up into the 50s briefly and then the temperatures fall back down <laughs> into the lower to mid 30s by tomorrow morning. Could actually be, potentially be some black ice issues first thing tomorrow. Now let's track the precipitation. Here we are at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Lots of clouds around. Couple of showers taking you through the late afternoon. We've got a line of heavier rain. Maybe some thunderstorms working their way through the uh, region uh, at 5 o'clock and that will obviously impact the evening commute. Maybe some gusty winds as well. 7 o'clock most of the showers should be leaving us and then our skies clear out and then we're actually looking at a pretty decent day tomorrow. Again, first thing maybe some icing issues, black ice, but then the rest of the day looking at lots of sunshine looks a okay for the first half of the weekend. So your morning commute some fog and drizzle and mist temperatures uh, in the afternoon, late afternoon and early evening will be topping out in the lower uh, 50s, 52 in Warwick, uh, 50 in Riverside. And as you saw, these temperatures really won't be realized till late afternoon, early evening, 50 in Charlestown, 50 Hope Valley with a threat of some heavy showers, some thunderstorms, same deal up in Northern Rhode Island, upper 40s to around 50 over in southeastern Massachusetts. We'll see some rain between 3 and 7 p.m., some of which could be on the heavy side. Tomorrow we are looking at drier weather. Looks like we could be seeing some snow develop Sunday night into Monday morning, more Tuesday, and possibly another big storm next Wednesday. Now it's time to get another look at that morning commute with your Jam Cam traffic. Here's Gina Brown. Well, traffic right now.